Welcome everybody to our 74th webinar of the 2020 webinar season. Uh, uh, appreciate all of you being here. Appreciate all of you that are watching this later on, on YouTube. Um, we're going to end this, uh, this season of webinars uh, with, a, uh, with a topic that's been big to us uh, this year. Obviously, we've been, uh, we've been introducing um, first in a pretty much of a, certainly a beta version of Ray Studio 3 analysis. Uh, it's getting better and better. I've got a lot of comments from people that um, are, are starting to really like what they see. It's still not, it's still beta. So it's still not something that if I was uh, going to go out and, and begin racing, um, you know, uh, in the next couple of weeks, I would, uh, I would remove Ray Studio 2 off my computer. I think that would be a, an unwise thing. It's, it's something for you to look at your data in, in addition to your normal uh, analysis. So keep keep that in mind. And um, but it's getting closer and closer. Maybe we'll even at, towards the end of the end of the webinar, we'll talk to Emiliano and see if he can give us a date that he, uh, you know, uh, uh, a bigger window, right? A window down the road when he when we maybe this will be added to the production software. So um, Robbie is of course uh, adding uh, links to uh, all the previous updates. Um, you know, uh, one through five. Uh, those will be also in the description box of the YouTube. Um, uh, recording once we get that up and running, it'd be up there within an hour or so today. Uh, so all of the all of the links that uh, you that we talk about will be available later as well. Perfect. Uh, let's start off and um, and, and just start chatting about where we're going to kind of head with this one, where we're going to go. Um, it's Ray Studio 3 Analysis, uh, software release. This is update number six. We we uh, we, we promised as, that as best as we could, we would talk about uh, about monthly, you know, whatever fit everybody's schedule and when changes were happening, uh, that we were going to come back in. Emiliano was going to join us again and come in and and, uh, and chat about some of the differences, get some feedback from the users, and then head back into a uh, into his dark cave uh, yeah. with all the programmers and continue to work, right? <laughs> so, uh, so that's what we're doing here again. And uh, and of course, continue your feedback. Anytime that you have feedback, there's feedback op uh, options inside the software. If that uh, is working or not working for you, yeah. if you think you might want to write an email, always include. And you'll see the emails addresses at the rear at the at the tail end of the presentation as well. But it's software at aim-sportline.com. Make sure everything goes to them. Certainly, you can CC me and Emiliano, but make sure that it goes to software at aims-sportline.com. That, uh, that email address will be at the end of the presentation. OK, perfect. So um, let's, let's uh, have uh, Emiliano give a quick talk about himself and, um, and uh, how he ended up getting here and doing what he's doing here with us today. And then we'll jump right into live data. Emiliano, thanks for coming again. I know this is probably your seventh or eighth uh, uh, presentation that you've worked with I, us. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, it's been a lot. And uh, so I appreciate you being here. Uh, tell the folks a little bit about yourself, and then we'll just jump into some live data. Uh, first of all, hello, everybody. And uh, thanks for, for having me here. And thanks uh, to, to all the people is, uh, who, who's, who's attending this, uh, this webinar. Uh, sure. I have I have a background of studies uh, as a, as a as a mechanical engineer. Uh, I studied vehicle mechanics and uh, a passion or a passion for, for 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 software. Bring me to AIM 20 years ago, and and I started uh, coding for them. Uh, I I coded uh, a, a lot of software for for AIM for AIM users, and uh, now I'm completing the the. This uh, this this job on uh, on Ray Studio Three analysis uh, about about me. <laughs> I think uh, we we don't have to say to say that much <laughs> uh, for sure. Uh, well, you have me, been, you have been here quite, you have been here quite a bit. Really, and uh, one of the things yeah. that I really like about uh, Emiliano and what he does is he's not just the the the, the software developer for AIM uh, in Italy. He he's also an enthusiast. With uh, in karting and, and motorsports in general, and and also in the sim racing side. So, um, a lot of what you uh, what his skills are from the programming side. He's also you know deep into the vehicle mechanics and of course the motorsports side, and uh, attends races quite a bit. I think that's a a, a real value to us as uh, as users. So, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I, uh, the I next slide. So. I'm I... sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was saying that uh, I think so that uh, having having such a, such a, such a passion uh, helps me understanding where 
uh, where where problems uh, can be and uh, fixing them with with, uh, with software is my is my goal. Perfect. Uh, uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, let me stop. I have to stop my share first, okay. and then and then okay. uh, and then you should now have the button where you can uh, go ahead and share okay. yours. Okay. So I can I can share my software here. Okay. Share. You should be seeing my my Ray Studio three analysis page. Is I it? do. It uh, it did show up. So you uh, you should okay. be. Uh, your microphone went a little bit when you first did it, but I think uh, I think it was just we, we hit the no, uh, the web uh, limit for think... a minute, but it but it's all good now. Okay. Okay. Uh, so okay, let's one go. more one more thing before we go, Emiliano. What we what we have done is is we were going to chat about some some bug fixes. We're going to chat about some new things that are in the latest version of, of Ray Studio mm -hmm. 3 yep. beta that is not available yet, everybody. It will be in the next day or two. You should see it. Emiliano maybe can update us that in a minute. Uh, yeah, sure. It will be, I think, uh, next uh, Monday or next Tuesday because okay. uh, I want to add uh, some some stuff to it. Uh, that he'll probably to talk it, about uh, today. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah. so you're going to you're going to be able to use this uh, early next week. And uh, so then he's going to talk about some of the enhancements so that he's done uh, uh, some of the bug fixes. And then we're going to talk about uh, th four or five things that we see that we still get a lot of questions on that we mm -hmm. or are just serious enhancements and serious uh, improvements in the way that it works compared to Ray Studio 2 that we want to just cover again to make sure everybody understands well. So that's kind of where our agenda is going, but it will be driven a little bit by the uh, by, by the uh, question and answers as well. Okay, yeah. Emiliano, take it over. As a, yeah, thank you. Uh, as, a, as a first thing, I'd say uh, that we work at, um, a lot of uh, catching uh, crashes of the of the software. Uh, I, I'm, my, my goal is to, to complete a, a webinar with uh, Restore 3 Live without it crashing, <laughs> because in, in the last in the last webinars it it always happened. So <laughs> maybe <laughs> maybe this time uh, uh, we we can do without it. Perfect. So uh, most of the crashes we caught was were uh, were like uh, goofing around with uh, with the software um, because. Uh, when you when you select a session to um, to keep the, the the user interface responsive we do some uh, some computation in the underground and uh, we we found that uh, some uh, some background computation uh, could be hitting the, the user interface in a, in a bad way so uh, we we fixed a lot of them we i think we we improved the uh, we improved the, um, this part uh, I, I think quite a lot uh, we we also had some crashes, and I'm telling it because uh, maybe some someone can can be uh, can be can have uh, found himself uh, into into those kind of crashing. We had some some uh, some problems in the in conflicts between the RS3 uh, user interface engine and the, the web mappings uh, web web mapping uh, engine. Uh, we found them, we fixed them, and uh, now the, it, it, it all should be smoother. Uh, the second uh, thing I would say is that uh, we went uh, analyzing um, a, a lot of the feedbacks and uh, we went looking to looking at uh, people using, uh, using our, our software. And uh, yeah, ju just, uh, just uh, one, uh, one thing about, about the feedbacks. Uh, being myself, uh, being being me, wanting uh, wanting to look at, at all the feedbacks, I'm I'm a little bit late uh, on analyzing uh, all of them. I normally answer uh, to, to to all of them. Sometimes uh, I I find myself myself uh, not doing this. Uh, I, I I beg your pardon, but I my, my goal is is to answer all of them. Maybe I will take uh, some uh, some. Some vacation days uh, just uh, just to answer uh, just to answer all our customers. Uh, I think it's due to to all the people who who, who write us. Uh, yeah, looking at uh, at feedbacks, uh, a thing that uh, we noticed is that uh, uh, writing the main in the main uh, software database uh, database page. 
we noticed that uh, the left column uh, was taking uh, uh, kind of taking importance out of out of uh, out of the center part of the software. That's uh, that's the the session that is the left part. So we uh, we are modifying it a little bit. Just uh, we are trying to to do modification just. Uh, uh, to the coloring of, of it uh, in order to to keep the the, the, the importance on, on the on the center part the left part is uh, has to be taken as a, a selection part where where you mm, select which uh, you you select a smaller set of sessions if compared to to all the sessions that are that are into the database uh, the center part being uh, being where where you find the list of your of uh, of all your sessions and the right part being a preview uh, a preview that let, that uh, enables you to uh, to look at the data without opening uh, without opening the sessions you can move you can move among uh, among the sessions and see uh, if the session is uh, is worth uh, is worth opening uh, another another thing in the database uh, that uh, we would like to to help uh, people using is this uh, this type of uh, of view in which uh, you can find uh, kind of an, an agenda kind of a, a time schedule a, day, a daytime uh, schedule in which in which all your sessions are divided by by racer or by by vehicle that we identify using the logger code. Show, show us so, how you got to that again uh, real quickly. You, you did it really quickly. Show everybody where that button okay. was. Okay, sorry, sorry for that. That's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, okay. Yep. Uh, it's, it's the second the second button in the, in the top center part of the software. You click on, on it uh, to switch among these, uh, these two modes. In this mode, you have uh, uh, left for uh, for the, the main selection. In the center part, you have a sessions list, and in the right part, you have uh, a preview window. If you click the second button, uh, you move to to the other to the other view, in which you have uh, all all the schedule, all your day schedule of uh, of uh, sessions in the top uh, right top part, and in the right bottom part, you have uh, the same thing, the same preview window you had uh, in the other mode. Uh, in this case, the preview window is is displayed uh, left and right instead of a top and bottom. Uh, yeah, these uh, I think these are uh, for for what uh, for for how the database is concerned. These uh, uh, these are the the things that uh, kind of uh, people is uh, is kind of missing uh, and. Uh, when when people is uh, when people are missing something, it means that uh, we did not make it uh, that clear. So we can uh, we can maybe improve uh, improve uh, this part. Certainly, there's a, I'd like to add just a little bit to the uh, to that preview window. I think a lot of people are not using that in, in any real depth, and that that right third. That is uh, that is uh, something totally different than what Ray Studio 2 did, and it is super, super powerful that uh, that you can, without even opening the session, by just highlighting it in that middle column, you can get all of your lap times, and then there's the buttons in the upper right corner that you can change what's in that preview window. So if, uh, like right now, he's got basically a little a, a little channel report, right? And so if he yep. clicks clicks that one, there's there's a lap summary. Go ahead and just kind of click yeah, through them. Right. So now you're getting your your lap times, your, your another basic way of looking at maybe channel reports, the distance traveled. Yep. And then the mm -hmm. lower side, you can change either the Y axis or the X axis and change it to water temperature or what, you know, all, you know there's your, you know, that, that's probably a goofy one, a uh, lap distance you drove. And, uh, you know, you know the, the, all the, anything you have in your data, what I have found one of the ones I enjoy looking at a little bit there is maybe water temperature and you see how it how it climbed and then you know and and peaked at a certain lap we're looking at cart data so it doesn't have a ton of that but but uh, all sorts of things anything you want to look at there the next button up there across the top is uh, mm -hmm. we can look at here's a track report where uh, where you can actually look at where you drove and we can bring up and have the the, the Google Earth stuff in the background or uh, or whatever whatever you wish right the the other the, the other ones that are available to us so that uh, that's kind of a mm -hmm. just another quick really cool little preview 
the next one over is a, is a weather one that it holds that weather that comes up and says, what was the weather while you were running? And it holds it for a year uh, after you've done it. And I, there is some talk about maybe extending that out a little bit, but, but uh, being able to know exactly when the run was, what the temperature was, what the barometric pressures, all that stuff, that's there for you. It's re really quick and easy. And then you've yep. got, uh, and then you've got the one more there at the end, where it talks about what the, the information. You can go, don't do this right now, no big deal. But you can actually go and click on the Show and Explorer button. It takes you right yep. into your Windows Explorer. It it highlights the movie and the the video, uh, the the data and the video file if you have both. And then you can uh, send that to AIM for a, if there's a problem. You can send it to your friends. You can you know, all, all the different things. That preview window is is super powerful. Hopefully everybody is uh, is starting to play with that a little bit more than what they did in the past. Sorry, Emiliano, yep. that one's important. Another, no, 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 no problem. You you, you can <laughs> uh, you can jump in uh, when you want because you normally add add information add valuable information. So jump so back into the track when you were at just a second ago, and we'll get rid of a couple of questions. Oh, okay. uh, why we're why we're here? Oh, okay, I, I saw I saw the questions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, historical I, I saw, image historical imagery yeah, on Google maybe. Earth. Not available to us, is it? Yeah, uh, at the moment, uh, I think it's not available to us. Uh, it's uh, it's available only if you if you use the primary uh, Google Earth interface, the historical images. I don't think it's available uh, uh, neither in Google Maps. Uh, I oh, think okay. it's only Google Earth. Uh, but what you do I have think. is you do have the choice but, of a, that anyway. little tile button up there where you can check, grab yeah. some Bing maps or, or, or yeah. you know, Thunder Force or Esri. There, there yeah. are some other things that you can uh, put there to the background. Other, so. other providers and uh, you, you, can, you can rely upon, upon the provider you want, uh, you you want to use. Uh, with, I think default, uh, default uh, is Google, but... Uh, it, there are a, a lot of them are, are really good. Yeah. Uh, uh, what we found is that uh, none of them is uh, has a, a constant uh, reliability of uh, all, all over the all over the world. Maybe in some uh, in some zones in some uh, nations, yeah. uh, a provider can be can be better than than another one. Uh, without uh, without having one uh, better than uh, than others. Uh, yeah. Kyle's got a question there. How far away is using yeah. segments in Ray Studio 3? Uh, You're going to see that we, in a moment. We're already yeah, uh, starting yeah. to do that. Okay. I think it's three days away <laughs> and, and uh, I will show it uh, in, in a minute. There then uh, uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle is, uh, is asking, he's opening in multiple layout tabs and the same file going to be available. Uh, yes, already, it is. Already is. Already is. Yeah. Maybe we'll show already that a little is, bit as well, okay. a little bit uh, in a minute. Mm-hmm. And what major pieces are, are still missing uh, in RS3 that, that uh, exist in the old software? Uh, I think uh, today we are we are introducing the split report and then we are missing only, I think, only the uh, uh, suspension analysis, but uh, uh, with other with with uh, with other uh, windows. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Someone, someone is moving questions, so <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, they go away pretty quickly, which is away. fine. Which is okay. fine. Which is fine. Okay. Uh, will there be a user manual for RS3? Yes, it, there will be. Um, our colleague Laura is uh, is already writing it, uh, so it will be available for sure. Uh, since the very first days in which uh, in which uh, RS3 will be will be released. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, whether info saved with the run file? Uh, uh, yeah, we are kind of. Uh, we are not working on it, but uh, we already thought about it. We already thought uh, at the possibility of saving weather information into the database. So uh, okay. it will be always available. Uh, uh, once you get the information from uh, from the the, 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 the web service. Uh, Storing that into the database can be can be an option. Really, okay. Uh, is the show and explore a possibility to store setup sheet? Ah, okay. Ah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. But uh, the the setup sheets uh, are uh, are a feature we are about to work on. Uh, they will be integrated uh, with uh, Studio 3 
and uh, there will be the possibility to link uh, to an external file. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, we know that setup sheets are very, very important to many, many people. Uh, how do you take a session back out of the preview list? One, one you don't. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, if you wanted to delete a session, a session you just have a, you just have to select it and uh, and hit this button. Uh, just close to the math channels one, uh, there, there, there's a possibility to, to erase the session. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, multiple time distance tabbing in the same profile is already available. Okay, yep. Neil from Calgary, uh, recognizing if you would do, but uh, there are correct factors and land surveyors. Ah, oh, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, um, so his, his general question is there there is GPS errors that are happening and maybe the track, maybe the image underneath the GPS traces are not perfect. Uh, is Are we going to give our users an option to adjust the GPS data for those days that the GPS maybe wasn't great or when the aerial imagery is, uh, is not quite right? No, we are thinking about it. Uh, sure, uh, we already we already spoke internally about uh, this possibility. For sure, it, it will be uh, it uh, will be a feature bounded to the session and not uh, not the track. So uh, it's to, to what I know, it's not true that uh, that the track is always uh, is always shifted. It can be it can be. Uh, it can be a moment. Take, take yeah. for example, this this session. Uh, the, this is a, a an old uh, an old GPS, but it, it started out out of track, and then and then in uh, half of a lap, it uh, it went uh, it, it, it went yeah. in. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, it got better. So uh, it, it it can happen. Uh, it, it shouldn't. Uh, the uh, the other thing that is by, happening, by, by, the, by way. the way. I'm sorry. The other thing I know it's a, the audio is a little bit funny, but uh, uh, when we talk, the the other thing that is happening is GPS 09 is uh, is being introduced. It's in uh, it's in the new Micron fives yep. uh, S's already, uh, and I think it's available uh, as a as a system to plug in. And that is even taking our accuracy that was pretty darn good before with the GPS 08 to the GPS 09. Looks like it's uh, virtually. Uh, uh, twice as good of accuracy it's shrunk the uh, the error rates uh, in, yeah, in half more. so so that's going to take care of a little bit of that problem as well yeah absolutely because we are we are going uh, from a resolution of uh, a position accuracy of uh, roughly 1 meter uh, 0.9 uh, of a meter to uh, re a position accuracy of 0.3 meters. Okay. So it's so, uh, it's a foot. It's yeah, <laughs> better better than twice very as accurate. good. Oh, three, three times better almost, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. So, uh, so there's your Christmas present or something everybody ought to be thinking about is maybe the maybe a GPS 09 for your, for your uh, external sensors coming soon. OK. Got yeah. through all those or questions. Good job. Uh, good, yeah. <laughs> uh, good, good job, Emiliano. You got through all the questions that we had. We'll save some more up. And then, uh, so Emiliano, go ahead and go wherever you would like to go at this point. Uh, okay. I, I, I'd go to, to the manual collections and to the smart collections. That is a, a feature that, uh, that maybe someone, uh, someone is missing. Uh, you can uh, create collection of, uh, of, your, of, your own, uh, of your own data. Uh, just uh, just doing this, you select uh, you you select uh, a session here, and you drag and drop on, over over a collection. So so for it, so when uh, when you will, will be clicking these uh, these manual collection, you will be uh, prompted all the sessions that you decided to to show for uh, to, to, to 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 group together in into a manual collection. Uh, to, together with the manual collection, we have also the smart collections that are. Uh, just one second. Okay, smart collections. They are here. Okay. These smart okay. collections. Why he's getting that started? I think this is brilliant, and and this is something I will end up using a lot. So everybody, uh, if you haven't heard of these, take take a watch what he does here. 
Okay, I just uh, inserted something into a, a small string uh, into the search box and uh, the software is uh, prompting me uh, all, all the sessions that, that uh, have this small string into the driver name, racer name, uh, uh, vehicle name uh, or track name uh, or in any of the comments uh, you, edit, you added to, to, these, uh, to these sessions. Uh, you can also kind of save. Uh, you can save these collections uh, to be available for for future. Uh, so I, if I if I add this, okay, it's it's saved with the with the name I gave it. And uh, once I click it, I can uh, I can immediately get all the sessions. Uh, in this in this uh, in this case, the name of the of the racer. Is uh, the name of the racer is uh, Federico, and uh, so I can uh, easily find all the tests from uh, from uh, this uh, all the sessions from this uh, racer, uh, just uh, just by hitting this uh, this smart collection um, uh, smart uh, collection thing. Another thing that's uh, that's kind of hidden uh, into the data into the session database is uh, this one. You can do the same thing that you that you can do with the, the smart collections. You can uh, you can filter the sessions doing this. So maybe I want to see. It's kind of a, the, the the same uh, the same selection part that, that was into the race studio two analysis. Uh, in this case, I think uh, it's a it's a little bit quicker. Uh, so I can uh, I want all the session from uh, from Federico. You you see that. When, when I do a selection on, on a column, uh, all, all, the, all the columns, all the values for the other columns that are not uh, bound to this, uh, to this, to this racer are, are displayed in red. So to tell you that they are, they are not uh, available. I want to see all the sessions from Federico in, uh, in uh, Rozzano and I, go, I, do, I do this. And the database is prompting me all, all the sessions uh, from, from uh, this racer in this, uh, in this track. To go back, uh, just go here and choose all, uh, choose back all to, the, to in, into all columns, and uh, you are you will be prompted the, the classic uh, database uh, again. So uh, these uh, database filters are are a feature that uh, th that's kind of hidden, and maybe we'll be, we will be uh, making it uh, more clear to, uh, to to people uh, let's jump in opening a, a session so uh, here I can uh, I can uh, speak or I can introduce the the, the, the profiles uh, we already uh, we already spoke about about profiles but uh, a thing that uh, that uh, has been added to the last uh, beta version is uh, is the possibility to have uh, multiple profiles so uh, you can save more than one you can uh, switch uh, from uh, from one profile to another one and uh, as uh, as we already explained that you can uh, you can al also uh, share profile to your other pcs uh, using our our cloud uh, our cloud possibilities uh, the, the cloud uh, with uh, with which we are introducing the possibility to share at the moment profiles with the next uh, beta version that will be out uh, next uh, next week you will be sharing uh, uh, split sequences uh, or what what race to do race studio to call the maps and uh, later you will be sharing uh, math channels and then uh, you will be sharing uh, uh, sessions these uh, as first you will be sharing data with yourself with all your all your pc pieces and then uh, you will be given the possibility to share data with other other people this is the 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 order in which uh, we we are planning to to share information uh, at the moment, uh, at the moment, only profiles with the next uh, beta profiles and uh, and sequences, and then uh, and then uh, all other all other stuff like uh, match channels and, and and sessions. Very very uh, powerful. Yeah. Uh, just to quickly to to show uh, to show. Uh, let me load a profile, a track report, a profile. Uh, 
okay just to show in a, in a bigger in a bigger size what we did on the on the maps uh, yeah just quickly uh, we work on an, on the cursor so you can uh, you can go back dragging the cursor uh, as you did in into the ray studio ray studio 2 software now if you if you if you drag uh, uh, outside of a line uh, you drag the map if you if you click on the cursor and drag it you can uh, you can move it uh, uh, in all uh, along along the line uh, we worked on the on the map in order to have the possibility to colorize the map with uh, with the splits so uh, so you see we have uh, splits shown here on, on the map as as uh, as it was granted by by ray studio 2 software and uh, in case uh, this is useful when uh, when you have uh, maybe web mappings in which uh, uh, say by default uh, ray studio uh, tree is choosing a gray color for for your for your lab for your slice a uh, gray color maybe can be confused with the with the gray of uh, of the asphalt and so in this case, uh, maybe you can uh, take a benefit of uh, choosing a monochrome window in which you choose, uh, you pick up the color, maybe a purple. That's very unlikely to see on a, on a web mapping, and uh, all all data will be shown uh, will be shown uh, using purple. Uh, this okay. is uh, this this is a, a tiny utility <laughs> that, that that we we added. Okay, let me jump back to coloring. I, I normally I, I like uh, I like this one colorize only was nice because when I have one, only one uh, one lab shown it colorizes we using the 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 the, the value of a channel uh, over to, to choose the color of the line uh, and uh, when you have more than one you can uh, you can see you can use this this window to show the lines the driven lines uh, this is a this is what I what I like the most. Uh, com we what? okay. It's kind uh, of a uh, kind of an intelligent uh, per lap color feature. If you're used to that in 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 Ray Studio Two, it's it's taking that and yeah. taking it a, a little bit even smarter. Yeah, it's a, it's the same for for channels uh, here in uh, for for channels here. Uh, I mean, if, if I have only one channel, it's displayed with the, with the color of the channel. If I have two laps, uh, they switch uh, they switch to the per lap color, uh, be showing uh, all all the all the values of uh, of the lap eight uh, in in brown and all all the all the channels of lap seven in uh, in green. It's it's the per lap color done uh, automatically. Yeah, that sure. uh, that might have been something that I complained about to, or or asked for for like a year. So, <laughs> so thank thank <laughs> so, you thank you from Roger. Uh, well, okay, uh, let, okay. I I I realized I opened uh, a session that had a, a movie and uh, okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's not. Uh, no, it's. Uh, I know what happened, yes. uh, and maybe maybe it's useful to to explain. I imported data. And when you import the data into the database, uh, all all the data are are inside here. Then I I moved uh, I moved the files on my my hard drive, and I moved the movie file. The movie file is not imported directly here. So when uh, when you do this, uh, uh, the movie file disappears. Oh. Okay. Now now I, I, I open the one one that has uh, that has a movie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where, where, where? I, okay. Uh, about about the the splits. What uh, what can I say? Uh, we added here a possibility to to resize uh, to resize the splits in order to to match uh, to match the criteria you want. By default, we uh, we use uh, to divide to divide the track. We use a pure geometric. Uh, 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 factors, a pure geometric uh, uh, algorithm. Uh, we are not basing on uh, on vehicle dynamics. I know uh, I know that uh, many people like uh, to divide splits by by the dynamic of the vehicle. So they they kind of uh, uh, they kind of uh, choose only the brake parts and uh, or the the straight line parts. Uh, 
uh, we we are working on the possibility to to divide uh, uh, automatically the the lab uh, in splits uh, using these uh, okay. other criteria but at, at the moment uh, the geometric one is uh, is the only one that matches all the vehicle so it's the first one we 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 introduced uh, I, I i mean uh, on the same on the same track the the breaking points can be can be different for different kind of, uh, of vehicles from uh, from a formula to a touring car so uh by default uh, uh we divide uh, only only on uh, on on uh, on the cornering on the okay. corner radius of uh, of the racetrack uh, this is what we do now by default but uh, we are we are working on uh, on, on new possibilities uh, yeah for sure uh, the uh, he he did something pretty quickly there that I just want to make sure everybody everybody caught up even more is he, he was just grabbing that bar across the top and moving it back and forth. Yeah. If you had your map down in the lower corner highlighted with the track segments colors, uh, as he's going to do that now. Now, if you went up there and adjusted that up there, you would see that that map will be and every other segment that's every other um, display that's using that and the segment reports are adjusting in real time what so watch that green one he's going to make that green the, one smaller the starting starting point is here there so when uh, when i go uh, I, i'm extending this uh, this red bar uh, right here so she drags that over and boom now, everything is now everything is the updated red bar, okay yeah yeah it's it's updated all, all the software updates uh, automatically across uh, across the modification uh, uh, done on on the splits also, and then the, 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 other like the, the other one i'd like you to do the other one i would like you to do while you're there is you see the uh, there towards the last two thirds, you've got two blue segments right in a row. Let's say we want to merge those together or so all you do is merge with and then the next yes. split and then boom, he does that. You've, you've, it, it's a different way of creating your splits in your maps compared to what we're used to with Ray Studio 2, but I think it is pretty intuitive and, and, and maybe quicker. So, uh, so mm -hmm. I appreciate that. I just want to make sure everybody's seen that as well. And once uh, once you want uh, once you you have a, a, a split sequence that uh, that you like, you can go here to the uh, old style track map uh, button, and you can uh, you can create a new one. You can clone it and uh, create a new one and start working on the new one. You just place uh, you just place uh, the name the name you like and. Uh, and then here somewhere will be will be available. So you can uh, you can be uh, you can uh, be switching from uh, uh, from different. Uh, you you can be switching uh, on uh, different uh, uh, split sequences uh, just uh, just with uh, with a click. And I appreciate this more than you know because uh, we we have used the term track map in Race Studio uh, Two analysis in its track maps in our, our track database. And by yeah. calling this a clone sequence, it, it's going to make it a little bit easier for us to uh, distinguish between what people are talking about and what they want help with, and and uh, and how we save them. So I, I like mm -hmm. what they're actually using a different name, even though at first it's going to feel a little bit weird. I think it's a it, 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 it's, it's a step in the right direction. Yeah, I think so because uh, in the Race Studio Two analysis. Uh, uh, one thing that was not uh, done, not that clear was that uh, you had the the GPS trace that uh, gave you a map, kind of a map uh, or, 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 or a trace on on on, on uh, uh, based upon uh, latitude and longitude, uh, and then you had to create a, a track map in Race Studio yeah. Two analysis that that was based on uh, speed and acceleration. That that was. Uh, that possibility, that option was uh, was for for the very late days, twenty years yeah. ago, when yeah. GPS was not available for uh, for, for for this purpose. Uh, now we we take, uh, I mean, we have we have the map that that's only always taken by uh, by 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 the racetracks uh, we we embedded with the, with the software that are constantly updated with the, with our web servers. Uh, and we we here we always take uh, that map that that is the map that you transmit to the, to the device and that's the map uh, uh, upon which the device uh, compute uh, split split uh, labs. Uh, but now we 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 are changing here only the split sequences. 
the track map being always the same uh, and this there is only one map for 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 a track uh, unless, unless you create another one of uh, of your own uh, what I was doing here okay you can uh, you can show uh, you can show here also the timing lines okay the, these are the timing lines coming from the map that we we embed with uh, race 2 3 in the track map uh, database uh, the map is always always that one uh, we we here only divide it into different sequences and the sequences being bound to uh, to what users like uh, we are not uh, we are not supplying them uh, with uh, together with our maps yeah. but the analysis software is computing them uh, when, uh, when 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 it opens uh, so mm, i already i already told that uh, also, the sequence is, is exactly like the profiles will be will be shared will be possibly shared on on, on the cloud. Uh, so uh, let me let me introduce the the split report. The split report is uh, I, I saved the profile here. While well, while Emiliano loads that, we'll uh, we'll get to your questions uh, as soon as we look at the split report a little bit. We'll. Uh, I'll, yep. I'll read the questions and uh, and have Emiliano answer those here in just a moment. So I'm, we're not ignoring you. Uh, okay, <laughs> I see there are there are many questions. Yeah, okay. don't. Yeah, I'll take care of them. Yeah, uh, the, the the split report is very very close in the in the left part is very close to what we had in uh, in race to the two analysis. Uh, the here is the sequence of uh, splits you uh, of split times you performed on the on the track, uh, and uh, in yellow that's uh, that's uh, there is a thing that is very valuable for many for many people that uh, that is what we call best rolling lap. So it's uh, it's a lap that you performed the uh, it's a fast lap that you performed on the track, but it was not uh, taken. Uh, from uh, the start finish line to the start finish line of, uh, of the lap after. Uh, this is very important because, uh, you know, sometimes uh, how you divide splits uh, determines, uh, determines some, uh, some advantages or, or disadvantages uh, uh, from one split to another one. So this uh, uh, reduces the, the possibility that, uh, that a, a bad division of, uh, of splits, uh, of uh, split sequences uh, can, uh, can create a false, uh, a false uh, fast, uh, fast lap. Uh, so the best rolling is, uh, is really important. Uh, important to notice here that you can, uh, you can see the best rolling here and you can, uh, you can see highlighted the, also uh, on the main on the main split table, so you can uh, you can easily see that uh, the best rolling was done from uh, your best lap to the, the second split of the lap after. Uh, you can enable or disable uh, laps. Uh, then I will then I will uh, illustrate what uh, what just appeared there. You can enable or disable laps, and all all the computation are automatically uh, adjusted to to the laps you 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 go selecting or 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 taking. Uh, once, uh, as I, as I, as I shown here, once you click uh, on uh, on the split, what we what do we display on on the right uh, on the right part? Very very uh, powerful. This preview window looks really cool to me. I think this is um, very very helpful. Yeah, uh, here. In the, let's start from uh, from the top part. Uh, I selected a sector. I selected a, a split. So here I I am displayed all all the kind of the a, a, a distance plot of, of a channel of my of my choice. In this in this case is uh, is the GPS speed. I can uh, I can change the channel into into another one just uh, just by clicking on the cockade wheel. And uh, I can uh, I can choose uh, this one that's uh, this RPM TPS. or lateral G's or whatever, uh, right? Yeah, TPS, yeah. whatever, whatever you okay. like, uh, Very you cool. like it to be. Uh, let me choose that acceleration. Okay, so if we if we go this on on a straight line, this is a corner. Okay, that's that's the value. All the values uh, of uh, all the laps of uh, of a channel into into that uh, specific uh, sector. Uh, 
Uh, one thing I'm adding, and this is one of the reasons uh, that uh, that uh, have me saying uh, this software will be will be published into <laughs> next week. I would like to have uh, the possibility to uh, wh while I move uh, I move the the, the mouse cursor or the mouse pointer uh, over 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 different labs. Uh, I would like uh, the, the the lab line uh, the line of the, that lab being highlighted here on the on the right part. Uh, that that's that's what it is on on the top part of this. Uh, second plot is uh, uh, in as uh, x axis you have the lab number, and uh, in y axis you have the lab time. So you can see the sorry not the lab time but the, the sector time. time. So yeah. you we, yeah the segment time. So you will be seeing uh, uh, which is uh, which is your first. Uh, I can. I can take back, uh, take back splits. You will be seeing which is uh, which is your um, your trend. If you go, if you went uh, improving or or if you went uh, better, if you went um, slower lap after lap, uh, you have uh, displayed here as a third plot the distance, always along along the laps. So you can see if you are if your racer is uh, is a is trying to to move on shorter lines or on longer lines uh, while while uh, he he drives uh, on the track and here uh, you can you can see uh, maybe uh, i can take a, a better a better example with uh, with some more yeah maybe, maybe this one so uh, many many data guide told me that uh, there is kind of a, a, a minimum value for, for the driven, driven distance compared to, to, to the sector time. So if you can find the minimum, you can instruct it, your driver to, to drive. You, you can uh, at first find, uh, find which is the lap uh, that has uh, that, uh, that value and uh, then instruct uh, your, your racer into, into, those, uh, into those lines. Uh, just by seeing at, uh, at data that, that those lines are faster than, uh, than others. Uh, what, in case, in case uh, you don't like this, but I think you, you, you will, <laughs> you, can, you can take it out and uh, so yeah. it will not bother you anymore. Uh, you can uh, show or hide the statistics uh, for, for, every, for every sector we offer average uh, uh, median, med minimum, uh, maximum, and standard deviation. In case, uh, in case you want, to, uh, in case you want to use it, uh, you may be finding yourself in the need of uh, of taking them out. Uh, just to, to give an example uh, of when, uh, when could be, if I had the session. Uh, if I had a session, the statistics uh, maybe uh, forbid me to uh, forbid me a, a good comparison of the two sessions. So in this case, maybe uh, taking them out, uh, you can uh, easily see, easily compare data among uh, among different uh, among different sessions. Very, very uh, cool. Also very here, cool. Uh, the colors the colors are very are very close, but uh, in case. Uh, but the lines of, of a sessions are, are of different colors. Anyway, uh, when, when this release will be published, uh, you will be, the, 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 this plot will be, uh, will be highlighting the line of the plot, of the, of the lab I'm, uh, I'm over. So. That you have, that you have a strong interest in, right? So yeah. the, um, uh, I, I did see the note go by in the chat, and I had noticed it myself uh, on one of these, but something you might want to work on before you release it on Monday is uh, I do not see, when you had a single lap up there, do not see it now, the best rolling lap time is not actually shown, and the best theoretical time is not actually shown. I think that just the column is not there, so you might want to make sure those two things get added in. No, the best theoretical is there. Uh... Okay, let, let me take yeah, let's out go back and take a look and make sure we, uh, we didn't miss it. Mm, okay, let me take out a session. Okay, that's my second here. Okay, so let me, uh, if I add statistics, uh, this uh, the, the the best theoretical is uh, the one uh, with the minimum values. But there's the not minimum. a. It's not totaled up as a lap time. Uh, 
No, I, I don't understand what you what do you mean. <laughs> you, your best theoretical should be yeah each of the individual segment times, but at the end of that, you ought to be adding those up and telling us that it is a forty nine point nine, right? Ah, okay, the time, okay. But the I time understand. and same thing with the rolling lap. The actual time of the rolling lap is not. Uh, I, I understand. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're okay, right. Perfect. <laughs> so that'll be uh, that'll be added, everybody, probably before before it's released on Monday as well. So yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. Why you take easy. a <laughs> well, no problem? Why you take a mental break? Of, uh, let me read the uh, some questions for you and let's uh, let's go through some questions pretty quickly we got about uh, 10 or 15 minutes left so uh, uh, first one's for me uh, Andy asks can you uh, could you have your power users put together some of their favorite money views and have those easy to uh, uh, easy to use uh, yes Andy I wrote it down when I saw your question come up future webinar power users favorite maybe we'll have three or four guys join me as co-hosts uh, guests and we'll uh, we'll all talk about our favorite uh, ways of setting up Ray Studio 3 and the ways we do that. So I, I think that's a great, uh, great question. Um, can you have a color scale on the right if if speed or G or whatever? I think that was from a previous yeah. screen. Uh, maybe it was even the colorization of the, the red yeah. to the blue. We, we don't show that yet. And I, I think that's what he's asking there. So. We will have. Okay. Um, Barry asks, how do you export? Uh, or, uh, maybe it's a better question of can we export a single fast lap for bragging or, or um, also known as data review uh, uh, for, for these manual collections. It, are we going to have the ability to export just certain channels out of Ray Studio 3 to, to be used by others or just a full one full lap to be shared with others? No, at the moment, no, there is no possibility. We are exporting uh, complete XRK files, but uh, it's planned. We 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 work on it when we work with the sharing on cloud with other people because we know we know that uh, uh, that there are the, there is a need of sharing only some labs or only some uh, uh, some channels Data because files. maybe you want you want to to share some channels maybe suspension and speed channels yeah. to to a suspension uh, technician yeah. or maybe your so, some engine channels so you want to share them only with the, your engine tuner right. so we, we we acknowledge the need uh, of this feature and uh, would be would be for sure coded so so not yet but it's it's on its way uh, while we're while I'm starting this next mm -hmm. question can you click on the time distance plot uh, that you have sitting yeah, sure. there uh, sure you can. Uh, my good friend Joe Hollett has been a co-host here asks is there a hotkey to display the entire run in the main screen instead of just what we now call Joe the uh, we call it the story storyboard is what we're calling it in Ray Studio 3 uh, right now Please. I do not think that is true but it's uh, you, you do it like you used to do it with is turn on the uh, snap uh, and, and scroll no, it's uh, two clicks away okay one just a snap off and zoom off ah there you go joe so it's two clicks there that's a. Uh, I forgot about that i've actually used that and i forgot and i forgot so uh very very good i forgot the the zoom extents or I, I, I zoom out on all works when you get out of uh not just one lap but when you're in snap mode goes out the entire thing very good uh kyle asks emiliano the upper row of file tabs should be the saved profiles available here. It's a question that I have too. The way that we get to our profiles is a little bit uh, cumbersome yet. Uh, the uh, And maybe a place where we should stay, save them a little bit better than going over to the icon and, and clicking on that and yeah. then digging down to find them. Maybe there should be a place for icons uh, uh, on, on, on stored when, when, when profiles. When I was coding, I, I thought that uh... Yeah, when I was coding, I thought that uh, that that this menu could be a useful thing. Uh, now that I'm using it, I, I see that uh, very likely the 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 old uh, the old way in in Ray Studio Two, uh, in which uh, we we show the profile is the way to go. And then even have them a spot where you can actually save those profiles on the tile bar mm -hmm. or the the icon bar for your favorite, you know, top three or four profiles, mm -hmm. and they're saved in a separate little spot. Yeah, that kind of could be. Um, Brian asks Ray Studio two used to show corner numbers across the splits Ooh, wow. um will, will this be added to ray studio three uh, i think the answer to that is yes but you, uh, you can you can also rename rename the, the the sectors here but the names are still not displayed but not you will okay and, and the, the uh i'm not sure what that name is but uh the uh yeah, it's, i just be, be, <laughs> randomly yeah. click yeah. on the keyboard <laughs> but uh being able to name sections, not just numbers, but uh, names with with uh, alpha characters, I think is going to be very helpful. You've got uh, oak tree corner at uh, VIR yeah. and the corkscrew, yeah. uh, and so you're going to see that as well. That's probably was the next one of the next questions part of that. 
Yep. Uh, Tice, any change we will any change we can use channel reports on split levels instead of lap level in the future. I believe that's already there yeah. as well, right? So uh, at the moment it's working only only on splits uh, from from the track. So so only on gotcha. the splits that are that are measured by 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 the devices. Uh, it, it, it's on the way. Perfect. It's on the way. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Uh, Barry, on the time distance screen, what is the bottom modal called? The time distance screen across that bottom, the, the x-axis text, I suppose. I'd like to uh, to hide on spacebar, but I can't seem to. Oh, I think he's talking about the storyboard. Oh, the across storyboard. The bottom. Oh, yeah. 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 He wants to know if you can hide that with a with a with a space yeah, bar. Can. Show them. This is available for all different windows, by the way, not just this one. Everybody, take a look at what he's going to do here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you need you need to right click on the storyboard here and select the settings and inside here you have to to flag this hide when spa space bar gets pressed so uh, he's now done when, that. when I place this the space bar it disappears and uh, I click on the space space bar it takes uh, it takes it on again perfect and a lot of users have a lot of different needs maybe their space bar wants to change take off the the, the channels and the storyboard all you got to do is yeah. click it on if that you, one as well and yeah. you're off and running okay i, I i'm showing it uh, if you if you select the settings uh, context menu you open the settings only for for the the window you click on if you click uh, this button plot settings you will have a tab for every window. So in this in this uh, layout, we have a channels list on the left, a track map, a time distance here, and the storyboard on the bottom. So you will be having the the, the same height when a space bar gets pressed, the same uh, flag in uh, in the in the windows you want uh, you want to disappear. So uh, no, it's not this one. Yeah. Is hide and uh, on storyboard. It's hide and time distance uh, doesn't get. I, I do not want uh, it to to get hidden when 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 I press uh, the space bar. So now if I press the space bar, there you go. All of them go 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 away. And those are uh, remember, and those are saved in your uh, profile by the, the way, individual you, different profiles. So that's pretty handy yeah. that those are saved in your profiles. Be ready to. to, to yeah, but you, you need you need to to save the profile uh, yeah. because otherwise uh, the the Ray Studio three is not uh, taking these uh, these settings at the moment. Okay, there's, got... no auto, there's no automatic save on, on the profiles. We're, we're, uh, we've been chatting about that in the behind the scenes. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll uh, update you more on that uh, down the road. Um, Joe's question, some drivers like to see best totals for best rolling lap. We've already chatted about that. That will be coming. Um, uh, I've noticed, yeah. yep, uh, Bill, I've noticed that my GPS acceleration data looks very spiky in Race Studio 3 analysis. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you'll notice that it looks a little bit more spiky in Race Studio 2 on the newer hardware as well. Maybe you can back that up a little bit on uh, on what you've done with the filtering on the GPS lat lateral and longitudinal G stuff. Uh, yes, we, we we took off uh, <clears throat> we took off some uh, some filtering. Uh, I mean, uh, we uh, we added a very strong filter for GPS lateral acceleration <clears throat> and longitudinal acceleration in uh, in Ray Studio Two analysis. There was uh, uh, there was a very strong filter because uh, the GPS of those days was uh, not that accurate, and so as uh, as for computing the lateral and longitudinal acceleration you are doing a math operation that uh, numerically is very is uh, um, adds adds a lot of noise uh, we added we coded a, a very a very strong filter that uh, with the improvements of of the gps with the, with the latest uh, gps uh, the filter in race to two analysis was very very hard so in race to the tree analysis, we took out a, a little bit of filtering uh, in order to have uh, <clears throat> more s sensitive data. Uh, I think uh, I think it's uh, it's uh, at the right point now. Uh, anyway, if you I don't remember the name of the customer, but if he, if he wants to to share some data with us and showing us uh, a problem. Maybe there there is something uh, wrong in in uh, his case, and we can uh, we can adjust it. So perfect. We just got a few more minutes left, but we've got a couple of um, of topics here. A couple more questions. Uh, Kyle asks, and 
a little bit too, maybe too in depth for what we're going to do here, but um, the, he wants to have multiple time distance tabs, uh, windows in a single mm -hmm. view. Uh, I think you can do that now. And, and, uh, and, and for the reasons that you mentioned there, Kyle, uh, the, he's going to add another one here really quickly just to show you. So if uh, he, he can choose to, do, to, do, to the right. And of course, it's always a little slow going through the internet like we are. So he's uh, adding there. There's your second one, and they are independent on. He's going to go into the settings, I suppose. They're independent on what channels you add, uh, plug into each one. I don't want to go into it deeply here. We just don't have the time. Maybe we'll do another uh, webinar that shows how we can uh, allow different channels. I explained, and I explained it in in my last webinar. So exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, if uh, if uh, Robbie can can uh, place the link to the to that webinar. Yeah, number. Uh, Update number five explains that uh, fairly well. Um, yeah. And then the last question we have so far uh, is uh, from Tice. In many menus, you have the option to select all laps at once, example, in the split time report that you have uh, uh, mm -hmm. up there right now. Um, can that also be added to the time distance graph? Uh, you, you this can, one, yeah. Yeah, you can it, yeah, you can select sure. them one at a time down there at the bottom, but they, uh, it, there, there is a little bit more time or in the laps tab up on the left side we can select laps, but there isn't yeah. a, you can't select them all at one time. I think I will be adding a right click menu here and uh, we with a command to add, uh, add all laps. All um, uh, full <laughs> laps or what, what, what's the term we use when uh, it's not an in or out lap, it's the, it's the active laps, right? Or, mm -hmm. or the, yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. I, I, um, uh, is there a way to, uh, is there a way to, um, is a good question. Is there a way to pair Smarty Cam or even GoPro video to data? The Smarty Cam side is all automated, just got to bring it in, it all takes care of itself. Um, I don't think there's any, um, can't do it now with uh, other form, other um, video files that are coming in. And I don't think there's a plan to that I know of. Uh, can you answer that uh, at this point, Emiliano, or is that outside your software hat that you wear? Uh, with with the with the GoPro, uh, I don't think at the moment. With the Smarticam, uh, we we can uh, we can link. Uh, yeah, that's easy. That's that, that's uh, that's all. Um, just just import yeah. import uh, import the files, select the lab uh, you want to display, and, uh, and, and it shows. And the three labs will be here, all all linked to to the cursor. You can move the cursor from here, from here. You can move the cursor from the map, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. and go where. Where, where you want to go but the the the, uh, the ability to bring in the non smarty cam video is is not there right now and have it linked uh, and i'm not sure that there's a plan for that if at, there is, at the moment at the moment we have uh, what what i call a rather precise link uh, and it's based on uh, on the gps stream that we embed uh, both in the xrk files into the devices and into the mov files into the smarty cam so uh, we use the GPS uh, position and time to link the two the two streams, so the video stream with the with the data stream. Uh, I do not know if uh, <clears throat> uh, how how to how to get the the GPS if any uh, stream uh, into the GoPro videos. So uh, at the moment uh, we we are not allowing this uh, this possibility. Maybe in the future, but. <laughs> I think that we we will before her be coding new 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 stuff for for yeah. our for our customers. Yeah. Uh, and just before we before I bring the presentation materials back up and kind of close this out, hit the play key. So it, so it, there there you are, Joe. Joe mentions, can we animate the three laps with the video? It's chunky because of the internet, I believe, but uh, it, it works smoothly on uh, on your uh, on your machine when it's on your own computer. Yeah. I've had as many, I think, as eight video, eight files with videos playing at the same time, dragging left and right in the main window or in the videos and, and that play very smoothly. And you can do um, a ton of laps with video. Yeah. Okay. It depends. It depends on hardware. I mean, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I think it's, it's on the RAM uh, because I, on this machine in which I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, I, I, can, I can play up to 24 laps uh, without uh, without any problem. I've uh, never tried that on, many. On other machines I arrived. Yeah, it, it plays, but uh, I, I mean, uh, it's 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 more a, a joke than uh, for, for my for my envisioning now. It's more a joke than than yeah. a useful thing because with, with with your eye you cannot you cannot follow more than <laughs> more than two. I think. Exactly. 
Perfect. Uh, I think we worked went through the questions fairly well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen back to the, uh, um, the the presentation materials that we have, and we're going to kind of uh, uh, kind of close this up. And um, um, I, I'd like to answer Kyle. I think uh, yes, what, what, uh, he, uh, I think what he needs uh, it, it can be done uh, can be done this way. Uh, he wants to to watch consecutive laps. Uh, the Video I took your window. I took your I took your screen away. You may need to reshare that real quickly in order to ah, okay, see it. Okay, sorry, sorry, uh, I didn't realize it. it. And it was my fault. Uh, go ahead and give it a try now. It should be you should be able to do it now. Okay, the this one. Okay, sure. There you go. It's uh, coming. It's coming. Okay, it's coming. Uh, what I was saying is that is that the, the the video window, so the cursor of the video is uh, and uh, the, this uh, this um, time interval is always bound to what you select uh, down down here uh, so if you go to to snap uh, off mode you zoom out a little bit this uh, this uh, window will will always be playing from uh, the starting of this uh, time window to the end of this time window so you can you can be seeing more than one lap going straight across the the, the lap breaks yeah. like uh, like what he was looking for perfect i did not know that i uh i, I thank you i, I learned uh, learned something new in the last couple in the last minute very good you're welcome yeah um yeah. andy i think that one's a little bit more we'll chat about that one uh you know maybe a little bit later that's uh, uh, we're running a little bit late here, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll take a look at that one down the road. I, I know NFL, but I don't know what what first uh, first lines are. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll we'll chat about it. Um, let me go back to here. Uh, I appreciate all the questions. That was very very helpful. Uh, everybody had lots of good questions. If you have more, again, it's not just. Um, bug reports and, and things like that. If you see some enhancements you'd like to do, uh, I'm going to give you the email address in a moment. And uh, you know, yeah, we're overwhelming Emiliano a little bit on his uh, on his numbers of emails, but it's uh, but it's for a good cause. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll probably continue to do that. Um, uh, this video will be up on YouTube uh, within an hour or so. Um, we've got 130. You know, this one will make 139 videos that we have up there. Um, it's a very, very, uh, very, very deep uh, library of, of course, all the, the webinars we've done, plus a bunch of other uh, videos. By the way, as I was doing the, a little bit of research on what gets watched a lot on the videos, the that video here that uh, says, I have downloaded my data, now what? Part one has, is our most popular video um, year after year, month after month. It's it's the one that people uh, must, uh, by searching, they must uh, catch that title. And uh, that one continues to get typically the most views every month, uh, every every week and every day as uh, as you look at the results from, from YouTube. The uh, uh, great time now to, if you have some questions, I know a lot of you guys are, uh, it's winter time where you're at, you're, you're working on your cars. If you have some questions uh, either for myself or uh, any of the, uh, any of the rest of our AIM techs, a lot of them that are here with us uh, in the background right now, give us a call at the, <clears throat> pardon me, at the 800 number uh, that's shown there on your screen, 800-718-9090. And we'll uh, be happy to answer your questions, of course, uh, email and, and other forms of uh, ways of getting a hold of us as well. The, um, the next webinar, we always have a slide that has the next webinar. And uh, so I, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that we do have one planned for next Tuesday, uh, uh, the, the next Tuesday that we're gonna be doing these, which is January 5th, 2021. Looks a little bit strange to type that. In matter of fact, um, I had that slide all built and I had not changed that to a 2021. So it's just like us writing in our checkbooks and writing the dates out, right? It's, uh, uh, it's a little hard to to make that change, but we're uh, we're all set up. Ray Ray Phillips, he's he's had a couple of very very well received webinars that he's done with us, uh, co-hosted with us in the past. Uh, Ray's going to talk about uh, accident data analysis, and it takes a uh, it, certainly there's a there's a skill to looking at that and understanding what's happening, but it uses some tools inside of Ray Studio, the snap button and and the ways that you you, you shift data around and move it that is. Uh, a little bit different to that compared to almost anything else. Uh, that skill of accident data analysis, he's going to look at some da accident data he's going to share and, and then figure out what happened, you know, and, and why did it happen. But that's that same skill. Maybe you went out and you did a half a lap and you had a yellow flag and you had to pull off the track or uh, come into the pit lane. And that kind of screws up the way that the data, you know, likes to place it on distance sometimes. And uh, this same skills that uh, that uh, Ray is going to talk about is going to allow you to to 
to align and look at your data in ways that uh, maybe you hadn't thought of before. So there's uh, it's more than just than just accident data analysis, although that's where he's going to be uh, going to be looking. So uh, looking forward to that with Ray. And I think he's here in the uh, uh, in watching this video today. So this webinar today. So looking forward to that, Ray. It's going to be a it's going to be a good one. We've got uh, probably the next four or five webinars already uh, set up and ready to go uh, uh, in January. So uh, we've got a pretty good uh, schedule coming up for you. So looking forward to it. The um, the last thing I'd like to do is, is, is again, give, give out the, uh, the contact information for myself and Emiliano, uh, software at aimsportline.com. Anytime you have uh, questions, comments, feature requests, anything about Ray Studio 3 beta, uh, the Ray Studio 3, uh, the, 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 the analysis side, make sure that it goes to that email address. You certainly can CC me and, and uh, Robbie and anybody else that you want to, but uh, it's got to go to that, uh, soft, that uh, software at aimsportline.com just to make sure that they see what's happening and they, they're, they're able to fix things as, as quickly as we can. So make sure you do that. Uh, Emilio, I appreciate you coming on. We, uh, we we always wish we had a little bit more time to talk about some of the more things in depth. I know there's a couple things on my uh, notes here that I would like to have gotten into, but we just ran out of time. So uh, appreciate everybody being here. Emiliano, you have anything else you'd like to add as we're uh, starting to close this one out? I again, thank you, thank you all, and uh, I wish uh, I wish a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to to everybody. Thank you very much, Emiliano, and, and thank you for all your work and, and your team that's uh, that's helping you do these things. It's I know it's been a ton of work, and you've made huge progress in the in the last uh, two or thank three you. months. In, those of you that are guys that have been using it, um, you, you, we've all seen how much uh, how much better it is in just the last two or three months. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you're just watching this and you haven't got it, there'll be a, a links in the uh, Robbie's probably put them in, but there's a Ray Studio three page that uh, allows you to get the, the beta version of, of software. It'll be in the description box below. And it also gives you lots of tips and tricks about how to uh, give feedback. And, and, and there is some documentation there on how to do some of the basic things, databasing, importing, exporting, things like that. So all of that is there. So uh, take a look at that. Again, thank you very much, Emiliano. I appreciate it. Thanks to all of our AIM guys, not only for being here today, but uh, most of these guys have been here for almost every webinar, answering questions in the background. Uh, appreciate uh, appreciate that very much. And um, Emiliano, there's one more question there, just as we finally tidied up. Yeah. I said I said we would probably try to get you to answer this question a little bit uh, at the end of the webinar. Now is the end Expected of the webinar. the customer release. Uh, yeah. yeah. Any idea? Of, I know you're the software guy. You don't make those calls. But is it? Uh, it's certainly not December. But is are you thinking January, no. February? What are, what are you thinking? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because because uh, it, it's it's not a call. I mean, uh, we will uh, for sure. Uh, leave uh, the Ray Studio 2 analysis button uh, available for, for a long time, so, so for months, because uh, we are ex expecting that people will take uh, uh, one year to, to, to move uh, from uh, Ray Studio 2 analysis to Ray Studio 3, to, 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 to have our complete uh, customers, uh, customer, to our complete folks <laughs> to, to, to yeah, move to, to Ray Studio 3 analysis. The same as, uh, as happened for for the, the move from uh, Ray Studio 1 to Ray Studio 2, and the same uh, from the W drag to the, to the Ray Studio 1. So, uh, you're showing the, your the, age. You're showing your see, age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we, are, we are adding feature, constantly adding feature to Ray Studio 3 analysis. So, uh, as long as uh, someone uh, feels comfortable uh, with it, uh, he can jump in and, and use it. Perfect. Perfect. And and uh, to, 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 to close it out, Joe put a note in the chat box there. Goodbye 2020 and Ray Studio 2 analysis. Hello 2021 and Ray Studio 3 analysis. Thanks, we Joe. won't say goodbye to Ray Studio 2 analysis, but we will uh, we, we begin to focus a lot more on Ray Studio 3. So I yeah. appreciate it, Joe. I appreciate it again, Emiliano, all of our guys, uh, you. you know, Robbie, Brick, Cameron, Robinson. Uh, and others have been here uh, doing t tons of work in the background with, with really bu busy schedules. So I appreciate ev everything that they're doing as well. Thanks everybody uh, for, for, for joining us today. This will be out on YouTube shortly with all the links down below and the comments. And, uh, and we'll see you in about 19 days on, uh, on, on, our, on our first webinar of 2020. Talk to you soon.